Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the surface area of a right cone. So, a cone is very similar to a pyramid. Um, so here is a pyramid. Um, all the sides are uh, polygons or faces or flat faces. Um, and it has one base, just like the cone. So, uh, so the reason why I bring up the pyramid is because we're going to use the formula for the surface area of a pyramid to help us find the surface area of a cone. So if you guys remember, surface area of a pyramid is the base area plus the perimeter times the slant height over two. So uh, if you guys remember, B stands for base area, P stands for base perimeter, uh, L stands for the slant height, okay? Um, and in this example, the slant height um, is this right here, this 11, and it's divided by two because all of the faces, these lateral faces in a pyramid are triangles, and so they're half of a rectangle, okay? Uh, but uh, we're going to modify or adapt this formula to work for a a cone. So if you guys notice, the base of a cone is a circle. Okay, so we're going to uh, just make this a little more specific for the surface area of a cone. So surface area of a cone. So the base is a circle. And if you guys remember, the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. Okay, so this b is more specific for a circle is pi r squared plus Okay, now if you guys remember, P stands for base perimeter. And what kind of base do we have? It's a circle. What's another name for perimeter of a circle? It's circumference. So we're going to substitute this with a formula for circumference of a circle, which is 2 pi r. And this L, the slant height, still stays the same. And this 2 still goes there. Now you guys see it, um, here's our formula, but if you guys see, we can simplify this formula. Is there anything that we can cancel out? Yeah, it's these twos right here. This two divided by two is just one, so we could just cancel that out. So our formula for the surface area of a cone is pi r squared plus pi r times the slant height. So. This is it right here. So make a power card, put this in your notebooks, highlight it. Service area of a cone is pi r squared plus pi times radius times the slant height. Uh, so let's just label it radius, radius, and slant height okay so this is important because there, there's two types of heights uh, there's a slant height and there's the height height or from uh, from the base all the way up to the top of the cone so we're not going to use that we're going to use the slanted height right there for this example so um so let's use this example so this one's a pretty straightforward one uh so all we're gonna do we all already have all of the numbers that we need all we do is just plug them into our formula so uh surface area of this cone is pi uh the radius here of our base this is our base radius is five so times five squared plus pi times the radius again the same base, the only base that we have is 5, and times the slant height, the slanted one, not the one that goes straight up. Uh, so it's 11, so times 11. Now we just work it all out. 5 squared is 25 pi plus 5 times 11 is 55 pi. And both of them have pies, so we can combine these like terms. 25 pies plus 55 pies 
uh, make that 80 pi. And it's in yards. And remember, surface area area is how many squares that you can fit. So on the surface, so it's 80 pi yards squared. So there's our final answer. We could fit 80 pi yards, uh, 80 pi squares on there. Or to be more specific, let's make sure this is in classic. So 80 times pi would be 251.32. So we could fit 251 squares onto the surface. So around 251.3. All right, so now let's go to another example, a not so straightforward one, okay? So I'm going to write this formula down just so we can refer to it easily. Surface area is equal to pi r squared plus pi times radius times the slant height. All right, so if you guys notice this one's a little different. Um, they don't give us, they give us two things. They give us the radius of the base. So that's convenient, uh, but they don't give us the slant height. They don't give us the length from here, this slanted uh, side right here. They give us the height. So the the distance between the base and uh, the highest part, or for this example, the lowest part of the cone. So, which is this point right here, uh, which is called the apex. Um, some people call it the apex. So just the distance or uh, from the base to the lowest part or the highest part. So um, that's no problem. We could figure this out. Um, so if you guys notice, uh, this, the radius and the height uh, make a right angle. So we have a right triangle. Um, so let's just highlight it so you can see it a little better from here to here. So we have that right triangle. And when we have two sides of a right triangle, what can we always use? It's the Pythagorean theorem. So they give us two legs. Let's find this hypotenuse right here. Let's just call it L for the slant height. So um, let's write L squared is equal to four squared plus 13 squared. Oops. Uh, four squared is 16 plus 13 squared is 169 equals L squared. And let's just add these. Uh, 16 plus 169 is 185 L squared. And let's see if we can simplify this. So we're not done the square. So we're gonna square root both sides. And let's see if we can simplify the square root of 185. Uh, so I'm going to use my calculator. It looks like 5 goes into 185. So uh, 185 divided by 5 is 37. Uh, so 5 times 37. And I don't think any numbers go into 37. 37 is a prime number. Uh, so we can't simplify the square root of 185. So this right here. The slant height is the square root of 185. So uh, it looks like we have all the parts of the cone uh, that we need in order to find the surface area. We have the radius and we have the slant height. So let's just plug things in. So equals pi times four squared plus pi times four times the slant height, which is uh, square root of 185 and so we got equals so let's just simplify this some more uh, four squared is 16 pi plus we really can't multiply anything unless we want to go into decimals so let's just leave it as four pi square root of 185. So all I really did was just rearrange the numbers. So we had the number first, then the pi, and then the radical at the end. Um, so here's our answer. Uh, we really can't, we can't combine these because these aren't like terms. We say, yeah, both of them have pi's, but both of them don't have a square root of 185. So we can just stop right here 
and say that this is our final answer. Uh, well, let's put the units, so centimeters and surface area is always the number of squares, so centimeters squared. So there is our final answer. Uh, but your teacher may want your answer in a decimal form. So let's just put in decimal forms, put 16. Pi plus, oh, actually let's check the mode, make sure that it's in classic. So down here, it's in classic. So let's, so let's put 16 pi plus four pi and second square root of 185. And let's close that parentheses there. And let's press equals or enter. And so our final answer would be about 221.18660018 centimeters squared. And that is how you find the surface area of a right cone. Good job.